What's going on, fellas, and welcome to this year's edition of the Chasing the Opener series. That's right, it's duck season, boys, and we're beyond excited. We'll be heading up north for duck opener and then chasing each one down south till we make our way back home. I got some awesome things planned for this year's Chasing the Opener series, and I can tell you this, we'll be on some awesome adventures and chasing ducks in wild places. Buckle up, boys. It's time for the 2022 Chasing the Opener series. What's going on, folks? Welcome to another episode of Deccan Chronicles. We are about to head out on another adventure in the duck bus. We got it all packed up. You guys notice this is a new setup with the bed, third bed, and we got the setup. We got more gear than you could hope for on a weekend trip. <laughs> we got everything ready to go in the bus. Dad's gonna drive, Chief's gonna pick up the ducks, and we'll be good to go. So, here we go. What do you think, Dad? Thumbs up. Alrighty, we're off. What's going on, fellas? We're out here. It is the first day, the scout day for the trip, and you wouldn't believe it, but. <laughs> We already have an issue. So, that's not normally what a boat looks like. So anyways, the battery bounced on this. This is like a, don't know what you'd call it, the housing for the plug. So, anyways, took the handy dandy Leatherman and tried to open it up again and it just pulled off the bottom. So, that would cause a leak. So, I guess this is an advertisement for a multi-tool because it has a file on there. Who would have thought you ever need a file? And we filed the hole. You gonna put the plug in there? Oh, I had it a second ago. And we're gonna scout. So, what do you think, Dad? Crisis averted? Yeah, I'm hoping it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out when we're way out in the middle. Of yeah. The uh, I think it should. Up. I think it should tighten up. So. I'd still go sit back in that little hole though. I'd still go sit back in the hole back there. Yeah, try to call him in. No, you probably won't see this. That's a lot of ducks. Here, follow this. Let's just go look back. There's another duck too. Well, maybe I would sit over there. I don't know. Taking one out of Elliot's book here and putting my dad to work. All right. So what do you think, Dad? I think there's ducks, and we're gonna get some tomorrow. Yep. Yep. We got a couple places in mind. Yep. I think the best we saw was that uh that spot. We had all those ducks flush up. I think I got a good shot of it, so you guys probably saw it. But well, I mean we've. I should say that's the the best mallard spot. We've seen other spots like this one had a bunch of blue wings and some other mixed ducks in there, riding through this stuff. And really, we're trying to motor back to see if we could get somewhere further. You know, it's it's going to be hard to get away from people on the opener. There's already a lot of people here and scouting. We're the day before, um, so my thought was if we could get somewhere where other people can't, <laughs> um, then it'd be it'd be a good good thing. But doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Instead, uh, it just turned into dad um, <laughs> pulling the boat. <laughs> so, so here we go. We'll get back on tracking and probably keep on scouting. We got all day. So, but we already got. I already, I already think I have at least a few spots that I'd be happy hunting. 
What do you think? I agree. <laughs> yeah, as long as there's like mallards in it, it's kind of my thing. I like, I'm not going for the most ducks. I'm going for like, hey, where can we get some mallards and then hopefully get some other mixed bag opportunities. All right, fellas, well, we just found the secret honey hole. So I wish I would get it out, got it on camera. Um, but there's this little strip. It's cut away from all the cattails and uh, like there's no path into it. We buzzed by it and uh, you can see it. it's just this strip. This is all it is. It's maybe what a hundred yards wide. So I think this is gonna be the plan because nobody else is gonna be able to get in here. Um, we'll have to look on the map to see like how far it is each way. But we were literally just running the channel and we busted up uh, a bunch of mallards. So I don't think anything else is gonna come in here. Maybe some wood ducks when we got the spread going, but yeah. That's looking pretty good. So that's our best find today because the other spot that had a lot of mallards, we've already seen other people in that hole scouting. So that one's definitely gonna get set up on. This one, I think we can, I think I think it would be our own. What do you think? I think so too. I think this is the money. Oh yeah. Right here. I mean, there's, there's smart weed, there's cattails, there's feathers in the water. Yeah. Yeah, look, it's just- It doesn't, it's clear. It doesn't look like anybody's been in here. Yeah. There's just feathers all over, so. There's food everywhere for these things, it looks like it. Oh yeah. Well, see it wasn't fell proof, but overall, dry. All right, evening camp set up. What are we thinking, Brandon? I'm ready, man. Let's oh, yeah. This. How about you, Dad? Ready to go? I'm ready. Well, we're getting ready. Yep. <laughs> Just had soup. Now we're getting gear around, ready to go. Oh, I'm going to be excited for the morning. Chief's in the gunner. In case he cannot help himself from going to check out any dog that walks within 100 yards. So, oh yeah, that's right, I'm wearing the bands. <laughs> we get packed up, ready to go. Scout was great today. Lunch was great, dinner was great, nap was great. Pack up, do a little podcast, and we'll see what happens. So stay tuned, it's about to be duck 30. <laughs> Alrighty, fellas, it's time for an update. We are out here in the blind, <laughs> set up. So, I know you guys can't see much yet, but there's spinners and decoys out there. We are ready to go. We got about T minus, T, T minus, T minus 30 minutes till shooting light. We're in the spot. There are some people around, but I don't think anything we can't live with. But again, we'll find out <laughs> when the guns start blazing how close they really are. So, um, I don't know. I'm feeling confident about the spot. We've been out here since 11 p.m. Right? Is that about right? Yeah. Yep. So, <laughs> what do you guys feel? You guys feeling good? Feeling good. Yeah. A little tired. A little Cold tired. For a bit, but you know, I'm setting up decoys all warmed up. Oh, yeah. What do you think, Dad? Got a little bit of sleep. I'm feeling good. Nice. All right, I'll get those lights out of your eyes and we'll hunker down, guys. Stay tuned. It's about to get hot. <laughs> Take them. Deppard, Chief, Deppard. Take them. Yeah. I think you got it. I, mean, I might have got it right after you got it. I was right on it too. Say what? Yeah. 
<laughs> give, give. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Tell you this, we, we found a lost duck. I'm sending it back to California. Two more. Give. 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 Chief, let go. Load, come on. All right, Load. Tom, been pure mayhem this morning. Lots of shooting in the marsh. So we've actually got our first couple down. Do a little more justice with the hold there. Got a spoonie. It's not for you. And Dad, where's your tail? And Dad's got a blowing, so. Lots of shooting and uh, <laughs> so far no luck on the mallard, so. Hopefully soon. All right, fellas. <clears throat> All right, fellas, well, the morning has not gone as we would have thought so i'll make an adjustment here seems like the birds are definitely seeing us um i hate boat vines i'm never hunting out of one again in my life so <laughs> we're gonna get rid of the boat stand the cattails and go from oh, there oh, right in front right in front <laughs> right here take it take it dead bird chief dead bird ah oh, shoot Had one, had to do one final, I'll never see you again lap in this hole. Seven twenty six. All right, Dan. Oh, no. Turn on. Coming right in front of us, Dad. You ready? Take him. Tipper, Chief Tipper. We got a bulk, didn't we? That one's uh, still alive, Dad. I don't see it. Run right front of him, Dad. Well, I... Too close. It's too close. Oh shoot! Okay, I got it now. I got it. Shoot him, man. Shoot him again, shoot him again. There we go. Good boy, buddy. Can't call wood ducks. <laughs> that didn't take long. Chief, here. Come on, Dan. Here. Here, Chief. There, <laughs> 
Give. Hey, Deborah, 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 Deborah. I don't know. Nice looking. And he's not banded. <laughs> nope. This is the one I shot anyway. Give cheek, give. Please, come on. Alrighty, fellas. Well, we just got out here for the eating set. <laughs> it didn't take long, and we had two wood duck drakes come right in. Honestly, with this morning not being great <laughs> that feels pretty good so <laughs> part two of the day we're out here literally as quick as we could get set up here's the spread guys got the fa black ducks and mallards in the spread with a spinner and i got um i got the boat back here i just had to walk through all those cattails to get through here so i pooped but it was worth it to start dropping in some wood ducks so <laughs> here we go Stay tuned, fellas. We got about two hours this evening. I think it's gonna be good. What's going on, fellas? Out here for another hunt for UP opener. We got the spread set and we're on a little pond today. Hopefully, we're gonna get on them. So stay tuned. Let's go. That's over right here. Oh. Is it shooting time? Yeah. yeah it's shooting time. That a boy, Chief. Good boy. <laughs> that was good. On the left. You ready, Dad? Take him. <laughs> Chief. He's got one. Good boy. Give. Give. Give, Chief. Give. Debber, Debber, Debber. Oh. Dude, there's a widgeon, look at this. Yeah. So the other one didn't drop? That's the one I shot, I think. Nice. Man, wish we had that flock back again. Did I call a shot too soon, you think? I thought we were losing. Oh, there's another pond right there. Alrighty. Little morning update. That's what we got to show for it so, so far. That's awesome. Widgeon, you don't see those too often for us. So I'm not going to complain about that. I flock. Worked in pretty good. And first, first light, we got the hen too. Hen wood duck. So, yep. Nickel and a dime them. So. What's going on, fellas? I'm back from the trip. I'm back from the trip doing some unpacking and cleaning, getting stuff around. Um, just got done with that edit. So, a couple things I wanted to cover post hunt on there. Um, guys, we may not have shot the volume we were hoping for on the UP opener. My worst UP opener to date, but man, we still had a lot of fun. So much fun being out there in the marsh. It's season. We're shooting ducks. So, we're not going to complain. Um, we're going to keep on trucking. I got plans, chasing openers all the way for pretty much the next month so uh, i'm excited to keep rolling on on all that so stick around for that content too um but guys i did want to go over show you some of the camo i was running um on this trip uh, i got all new camo um from final approach so i just want to show you some of my favorite pieces i'm wearing um this one is kind of for colder mornings it is the final approach puff jacket um, this one is kind of your, your lightweight mid layer and man, this is probably going to be something I wear all season long just as a base layer, but it's real great in this early season because you can still wear it as camo, you know, as long as you got a little bit of a chilly temperature, you put it on there. It's got the nice fitted hood right there. Um, and then it's overall just a nice early season piece to wear. Like I, I, I uh, layered this with the puff jacket or I layered this with, with this piece as well. It is the acute mid-layer half zip hoodie. So got a nice hood on there as well. It's removable, all that if you don't want a hood. 
It's got the nice grippy shoulder pads for your waders. And so this one's a great one for the wader jackets with your insulated pockets here as well. Um, and then lastly, guys, I've been running the uh, uh, tuck and boots, the final approach tuck and boot pants. Now they do have wader pants, but these ones are um, nice for that as well. You can wear them in the field, but I was wearing them in my waders. So just kind of a little brief overview of some of the awesome camo that I was wearing on the trip. So um, anyways, guys, that's all we got for today. Stay tuned. Like I said, we got some big plans, some big hunts coming up, and we're going to keep hammering them. We'll see you guys on the next one. Let's go.